Today I am installing this Boscam K7 wireless backup camera in my Dodge ProMaster van. Now my ProMaster is only 17 feet long, so it's not that long. Um, I could run a wireless one, or I mean a wired one, um, but I thought that this would be a lot easier. You just mount this on the dash and you hook up the camera in the back and it's, you know, Bob's your uncle. So I've uh, looked at reviews online and it seems to get really good reviews. So let's go ahead and install this today. It shouldn't take too long. I think it's pretty simple to install. But the wind don't blow me over. It's really windy out here. Uh, so in here, I have not actually taken this apart yet. So it looks like, uh, looks like a manual and something else there. Uh, this is the monitor here. I think it's a five inch monitor. This here plugs into the power. And what have we got here? Looks like this is the power cord here. And the mounting bracket. You can mount this to the windshield or to your dash. And this is also a power cable. Yeah, this is for the camera actually. And I believe this is for the, uh, no, this is for the monitor, this is for the camera. Uh, quick connect, so I can connect it to the backup lights. And then, what is this? This is the, this is the camera itself, of course. Yeah. So here's the camera. We're going to install this in the back. Now, one option here is to um, plug this right into the cigarette lighter. And so this gets plugged into here like that and uh, we can just plug this in. now I'm probably not going to do that I'm gonna do it first off to test it but I'm probably gonna run this to the fuse box and um, give it permanent power that way uh, or not permanent power power whenever the whenever the van is on so we set that aside and then um, this here uh, connects to here into this one and then um, this will connect to my backup light assembly. So what I'll find is my backup light, find the wiring for it, connect these to it, and they give me these quick connects to connect the wire so I don't have to cut it in splice. So first off, let's go ahead and just mount this to the dash. Okay, I think I'm going to mount the monitor right here. Uh, right in the center. It comes with this window mount, but it's it, it also works for the dash too. It's really sticky. Oh, hey. I wondered where my little Samsung smart thing went. <laughs> it was in here. <laughs> A lot of good it did. It never notified me. Man, this cable is long. You know, you know, for being wireless, that's a heck of a lot of cable they give me. <laughs> All right, let's just kind of figure out exactly where, probably right about there looks like. Yeah, I don't think it's really critical. Okay, so right there I think is perfect. Yeah, that looks good. Uh... The monitor, <laughs> the monitor won't be on unless rear camera is powered. Okay, well, makes sense. And just for testing purposes, we're going to plug it in there. Check this out, it's got a little USB port on it too, so if I want to leave it plugged in. But I don't like cables, so I'm going to actually run this to the, uh, somewhere to the fuse box and give it power that way but for now this will work I say for now I'll probably leave it like this for like four years <laughs> that's me <laughs> no I'm gonna get right on it actually yeah so it does have power I've got my key on and the monitor is not on it said it won't come on unless the uh, rear cameras on but it has two little red lights here showing power that's kind of cool okay I'm gonna put the camera right here uh, now this light here is dead center, so I'm just going to offset it just a little bit. And I'll drill a little hole, and I'll put a bolt in here 
and uh, butyl tape or you know some kind of caulking here just to keep it from leaking and then the wire I'm going to put through a grommet underneath right here so uh, the wire will go through here like this and then into this hollow cavity I'll show you that when I get there and then this connects to this once I get it through this connects and then what it'll do it'll go all the way through there's a channel here and then down to the tail light assembly in the back and I'll show you that and one of the nice things about this ProMaster is that it's all open here so I can just install the camera and put in a rubber grommet run the wire through and then just go all the way down here to the backup light okay so I've got a grommet kit here that I bought online I'll put a link below to where I got it and it's got like six or seven different size grommets in here so I found one I think is going to work perfect uh, I needed to make sure that I see this connector here is a little bit bigger than the wire itself so I needed one that was going to be big enough for this connector to go through uh, problem being once it gets onto the wire of course there's a little bit of slop uh, but that's okay I'm going to secure the wire and once I get the wire secured this won't move in and out so I'll be able to caulk this up really well uh, now I could of course I could cut the wire and then find a smaller grommet push the wire through nice and tight and then splice the wire that would probably be the best way to do it if I was concerned about um, you know weatherproofing this but I don't I'm not really concerned about it once I secure this I can stuff butyl tape or caulk and I can make sure that there's there's going to be no leakage on this so I need to find uh, a hole a drill that I can drill the size of this hole right here Now I don't want it any bigger than this because these are rubber so uh, what you do is you take a, a drill bit the exact size of that hole right there and then this is going to squeeze down in and then uh, this has a little bit of room not much so this grommet will squeeze in there's a channel right there in that grommet and so once I get this fit in there it'll be nice and tight and it won't come out okay so I cleaned this really well I cleaned that really well it's like probably the only clean spot on my van <laughs> and this has a little sticky on the back so I just pull this off and find out exactly where I want to center this because once I put it on I'm done leave enough room for my grommet right on the bottom here I think that looks pretty good right there <clears throat> now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a self-tapping screw and I have a washer for it so it's going to completely um, it'll catch both sides of this now I'm not too worried about when I drill the hole here of course for the wire I'm going to I've got some rust-oleum so I'm gonna rust-oleum it to make sure I don't get you know it doesn't rust out and whatnot but this one here there's not much I can do about it I'm just gonna put this right through and it'll contact the metal all the way around it so I'm not concerned about it creating any rust so I'm gonna go ahead and put this self tapper in here like that I'm just going to put one in center it and be good to go make sure I center that washer just like that that is not going anywhere yeah that tape is gummed up I might just pull that off eventually but I'm just going to leave it for now not worried about it Now, I am going to actually spray this with a little bit of Rust-Oleum. And that actually got inside and all the way around. With these here, you just have to work it in. Get my screwdriver. Now the, the bit that I used was a little bit 
small. I mean, it was just the size of this hole. That's why it's a little misshapen, but um, I didn't want to go any bigger. The grommet would have gone in a little easier, but, but right now that grommet is all the way in. And then this goes right through here. Oh yeah, that's seriously tight. That is really tight. Yeah, the thing I like about this butyl tape, look at that, it just makes this, I just can mold it, it's like Play-Doh. So what I did was I put a little uh, drip loop in. So when the water comes down this, this line, it'll drip off and go into this drip channel here. Instead of coming, if the wire was straight up here, the water would come down and then it would go in through the hole. Even though I've got this secured really well, it is gooped very well. It, um, it still could. Now the only way the water is going to come in is if, the, if the, the water gets forced in and somehow makes its way elevated up and then through. I don't see that happening. I think this is going to work perfectly fine. So we have the self-tapping. This is held in by not just tape, but the self-tapping screw. This is nice and tight. Uh, got my wire coming through. Now let's go ahead and connect this wire uh, up to the, the uh, tail light, the uh, backup light. So first off, we're gonna get behind this panel. This is, in the ProMaster, this big long black plastic panel uh, all the wiring for the lights, brake lights, backup lights and whatnot are all behind this. So I remove this and it should be easy to get to. It looks like there's two, four, six, eight of them or seven. Looks like there's seven screws. So the backup light on the ProMaster is on the bottom part of this clear section. So it's this one right here. Okay, so to find the backup light, I just turned the ignition on. I didn't start the van, but I just turned it on and uh, chalked the tire and then put it in reverse <clears throat> without the engine running. And it activated the backup light. And then I just took my multi-tester and poked each one of these wires and until I found it. And incidentally, if you have the ProMaster, it's going to be this one right here. It looks like it's, um, at least for mine, it was this green and yellow or green and white wire right here. Um, yeah, green and white. And then it came with the splicers here. So I just spliced in this red wire into it. And then I'm just going to run this one to ground. Okay, so I'm out on the main road here. Let's put it in reverse. Yeah, and I'm off to the side of the road here. I'm actually in the gravel and I can see the whole road. Now, of course, I can change the field of view. Uh, I've got it pointing kind of straight out. Uh, not, well, not straight out, but I, the angle is not, I'm not like pointing down to the back of the van. I've got it more pointing out. Um, I can see probably, I'd say 100 feet behind me which is really nice. I'd say, yeah, I'd say it's about 100 feet I can see behind me. Okay, so this is, uh, I don't think this uh, video camera does it justice. I think the quality of this is exceptional. Um, of course, I can angle the camera, but I'm on the side of the road and uh, I'm in the gravel and I can still see both sides of the road. Now I could angle it down even more to catch anybody walking behind me, but that's not what I use this for. I take my van, of course, out on jobs, and so I'm not taking this to grocery store parking lots. So I'm not worried about other cars around me so much, you know, directly behind me, as I am uh, when I'm backing into job sites and whatnot, and I need to see farther behind me. So, yeah, the quality of this, I'm really impressed with how, how well this turned out. So much easier to back up now. Oh, yeah. Sweet. I'm in Fat City now. So that's the Boss Cam K7 wireless backup video camera. Uh, I think this thing, for, for being in, so inexpensive, I think it's an incredibly high quality system. And 
it's so easy to install. I mean, this thing almost installed itself. So if, I mean, if you're looking for something quick, I did this in just like a couple hours and I'm up and ready to go. And, you know, no long cables to run and stuff. It's just very simple. The only, the only thing that, you know, that uh, that's probably going to take some time is if you don't want to plug it into your cigarette lighter, you can always run it to the fuse box, which is what I'm going to do. So it'll, um, I won't have all these wires hanging around. I can snake it down through into the engine compartment and put it into there. But if you're not going to do that, you just want to plug it into the cigarette lighter, piece of cake, simplest thing in the world to install. All right, guys, so I'll put a link below to where I bought mine. And um, very inexpensive, but high quality. So go out and take a look at it. Good reviews. And uh, so anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and make sure that you hit the little bell so you get notifications whenever I upload a new video. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you later.